Well, 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 I like uh, taking things apart and looking how they're made. So let's look at this daylight puck lights that I got at Walmart today. They were about four bucks and uh, they are really bright. You can see this is really bright. I, I, I like it in my opinion. Um, so yeah, so I open it up. So it uses three uh, the AAA battery, the small ones. You can see the batteries in here. You know how they are connected in the back. They are in series, pretty much. We see a, a switch here. There's a switch here. And it goes connected from one side of the battery uh, to the positive or the negative. And right into the LED assembly. This is a LED assembly. And it's connected in there. And that is a switch in there. I don't know if you can see the switch in there. Yeah, there's a switch in there. It's almost like a on off switch and pretty much like you can hear it click on off on off yep so that's the switch in there and again the red is probably the let me see yep that's the negative no the positive side so it connects from the positive and the negative so because you have to four four bias the diode it's a diode a switch and Diode switch configuration, pretty much. Pretty simple. Pretty neat to, to see how they created this, you know. Very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. And it uses three uh, AAA batteries. Uh, when you do the calculation, since you're putting the batteries one right after another, so it's probably a battery that is in... Uh, in series, most likely, yeah, I think so. Yeah, so battery that, yeah, it's a battery in series. Um, yeah, it's in series, so you get <clears throat> 1.5 plus 1.5, that's 3 plus 1.5, about 4.5 volts uh, of electricity for this little diode LED light assembly that you get here. Yes. So yeah, really cool, really cool, really cool configuration, really cool build. Again, just a simple switch in there. I could probably take this for parts, pretty much, you know. And uh, I don't see any resistor in here. So it's just a switch and the LED assembly. I'm pretty sure that the LED comes uh, assembly will come with a required resistance in there. So yeah, but that's, that's what it is. That's what it is in here, nothing too magical. And uh, and again, this sits in in the plate in the three things in here. This sits here, and then when you press, you activate the the switch. That's where the little metal part in there. So yeah, pretty interesting construction. I was curious how this was, and I do have to admit that I like it. Cool.